Thank you very much. <laughs> um, right, can you all hear me now? Okay, well, I'll just run through what I was doing there quickly earlier. I just want to say, uh, saying that uh, I've been doing a bit of work off of camera here, and uh, um, just uh, done a couple of bits and pieces. Like, I've just uh, upgraded my storage a little bit, so I've got a bit of space for um, the various stuff we're building up. I've, I've got a bit of a farm going now, so I've got some... Uh, stuff coming up and I've built a bookshelf for my books and a couple of shelves for my memorabilia and my zombie brain and there's our head our head from our death and yes frying pans I found that if you shift right click you can put the frying pan down on the ground and then you can take something let's take a silkworm and pop it in there and let's get a bit of wood or something. There we go. And it's just, it's basically a, a furnace um, for cooking foods. So, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so we'll come back in a minute and that uh, um, will be cooked. I upgraded this this hatchet and I gave it um, a bone handle because I've been using it so much and this now has a speed multiplier of 12 for the wooden handle it had a speed multiplier of 4 so it's now three times faster which is excellent it's quite a nice um, oh it looks like it's uh, obviously one wasn't enough let's hope two is hey anyway, let's go and have a look outside so we started on the mob drop last week, and I'm hoping we'll finish that this one. And as I've been working during the course of the week, I've been working on this farm. So we have lots of carrots, and we have some wheat. We've lost some wheat. And the cotton seeds that we found, I've grown in the corner. I also found some pumpkin seeds, so I, I grew a pumpkin a little while ago. Uh, I've yet to see anything from that. And the sugar we found is planted there and it's growing quite nicely. So I've been stocking up on a little bit of wood, as you can see. And we're going to use that to, to build this tonight. And uh, we expanded things a little bit and put some trees in. So I've got a couple of spruce trees there. I got a couple of beech trees there, and uh, coming around here, just a few uh, oak trees as well. I'm wearing the new Damien skin, Shizzy. Thank you very much for that. It looks really great. Um, I wore it to the new Team Tuxedo opening yesterday. So that's pretty much all I've done. But uh, in doing that, we've got a lot of uh, quests that we can uh, finish. So, did that cook it? Yes, that cooked it. So let's pick that up. There you go. So that now gives us um, the frying pan. And as you can see, that frying pan is actually getting quite uh, useful now. And where is it? I swear I picked it up. I can't see it for looking though. I should have picked up a cooked silkworm. I could have sworn I picked it up. We'll put that down to experience. I didn't need to eat it anyway. All right. Okay. Um. Yes, and we've got a few. We've got a few uh, quests that I want to finish before we do anything else. But first of all, I found this rather nice recipe, um, which I think is so, so very Damien, if nothing else. 
Guten Armor. Then we've got a wooden helmet. We've got wooden trousers, and those have got to chafe. And we've also got wooden boots. What's up with this today? It seems to be a bit laggy. And what on earth is that? Let's, let's pick one of those up just to see what it is. Is that me or is there a, a, a cooked silkworm on the end of my cursor? It's there. I just couldn't see it against the background. There we go. Cook silkworm. Yum. Right, where were we? Uh, okay. Let's get that out of my inventory. A birch barricade. Oh, nice. Put that in there for now. So, let's see what we look like in our new armor. So, that, 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 and that. So guys, what do you think? Do I look good in this? Or do I look good in this? Now I must admit, it does chafe a little bit. So, there we go. And that's not as good as leather armour. Okay. But, um, I tell you what, let's make ourselves a quick armour stand. Because I think that needs to be saved. armor stand let's not make ourselves an armor stand because we don't actually have any iron at the moment but uh, let's put that away for now might wear that when we if, if we get into a situation we have to go fighting <laughs> you look like a tree <laughs> Uh, okay, night's coming. Let's just sleep the night. Want to see Damien in leather? Just watch any of my other Minecraft series. Okay, right. Uh, yes. Wanted to talk about quests. Um, so let's just open this up quickly. And in the course of just doing stuff, I seem to have done a lot of quests, or a, a lot of potential quests. So let's see, let's see if we can get some of these done. Uh, the librarian, which needs a bookbinder. So let's make a bookbinder quickly. We need that, and we need some string. And why did I do that? I wanted string. There you go, some string, and. Book. There's a book binder. Two string, two paper. So let's just copy the pattern for that over. Make ourselves some paper. And some string. And there's a book binder. So let's go back to the quest book. And get a quarter of heart as a reward there. Except one down. And also, Mary had a butcher shop. We want 10 bone and 10 zombies. Zombies and skeletons seem to enjoy the idea of trying to eat my face during this, uh, during this week. So we got plenty of that stuff. Now let's just manually submit that one. And we can pick a potion flask. We get a safari net, a quarter heart, and a reward bag. So let's pick that potion. There we go, and that has given us invisibility potion. Interesting. Totally useless, but interesting. And what's that? Uh, a greater reward bag. Hey, hey. No gullens yet, but I've got something to show you about that later on. Uh, so let's go and use this reward bag. A hungry chest. What on earth is a hungry chest? 
put it down somewhere and have a look. No idea, uh, but we, it looks like we can put stuff in it. And we've got a safari net, which I'm going to have to look up because I have no idea what they are, but uh, I will look at that later on. So that's given us two quarter hearts. There's a third quarter heart. And I've got four half hearts as well, so it looks like we're going to get in some lives. Um, okay, what else have we got? Uh, oh, that's opened up a few new quests. Excellent. Um, be resourceful. I haven't done that one yet. Survival is not tasty. We can make a sifter. We can do that. We haven't done it. This one here, okay. We now have four buckets of water. And we have four um, blocks of dust. It took, I think it was about five days before it actually rained. Five days without sleep. That was really quite frustrating. So let's just make some clay here. Clay, clay, and clay. And put those down on the ground. We want clay lumps. So I'm willing to bet we're going to have to hit them with a hammer. Because that's normally what you have to do. Oh, there's still a bit of life left in that hammer. I believe you can capture from mobs with a safari net. It's a Pokemon reference, but... Uh... Hey, 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 did you see that? If stuff drop... Oh, man, I've got so many uses for that plant. Oh, yes. Look. Oh. Got to land on top of it. Fair enough. Oh, nice. And there goes the hammer. Let's make another hammer because we're going to be using those quite a lot still. Okay, so. It's wood. Get some sticks. That's a tall rod, that's why I didn't stack up with it. And let's make this slightly suggestive pattern that makes a hammer. Okay, and let's get this last block done. So now we should be able to f make a bucket. I've been looking forward to doing this unfired clay bucket can we put it in here we can put it in here hey excellent do we want to put it in here what do we need to do for the quest we need an unfired clay bucket and an unfired crucible so how do we make a crucible that's kind of what i was thinking it's it's one particular use for it isn't it um yeah, it's put the chest somewhere near the mob thing so that it, um, the drops get automatically sucked into it. Uh, right, what do I want here? I want a crucible. Crucible. Uh, an unfired crucible. Looks like that. Porcelain clay. How do we make porcelain clay? So that is clay and bone meal. Um, we're going to want seven porcelain clay. I think we can do that. Uh, where's my bone meal? There's my bone meal. Yep. Six and seven. So that's porcelain clay. Like that, an unfired crucible. So let's finish that quest off. Firing the pottery. So we need a slab furnace. We've done that one as well. Excellent. So, I guess it's a quarter heart, and I think that reward bag. Hello, messy fish. Alright, okay, so that's that one done. So let's have a quick look at... So that's four. Okay, we're... 
getting quite a few hearts out of this now. So we might as well take those and actually I'll tell you what, let's use them all at once and see how many lives we actually get out of this. Alright, so board bag, we get some bees. Okay, but not great reward. I don't think I'm going to argue with that statement. But, uh, yes, there is bee breeding in this game. It's going to be interesting to see what we can do with it. A cultivated princess. Apparently cultivated princesses don't stack, but drones do. So we have three cultivated princesses and three cultivated drones. Right. Let's drop that invisibility potion in there for now as well. I don't think we're going to need it. And I'm wondering what you can do with the bookbinder. Oh, it's like a little shelf. So you can put books into it, but we've already got a bookshelf. So I don't think we need that. Where was it? There it was. Okay, let's get that stuff fired up. So fire the crucible. Uh, While well, that's firing up, let's have a look in the book here. Actually, let's not, because that fired up really quickly. So let's see if we can use that flame for firing the bucket up as well. There we go. All right. Now, so that that job just that that finished there. There's just nothing to do with it. Just hey, we've done it. Yay! Yeah, okay. Right. And there we go, a clay bucket. Which is excellent. Because if that see if that works like a bucket, that means Yes. We can cheat. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, so, right, that's uh, some quests done. We've got th all right, three hearts. Let's see what else we can do in here. Dust in the wind. There we go. Iron ore gravel. We found the stuff to make four broken iron. So, um, we put that in like that. We end up with iron ore gravel. Which means then we get ore sand, which means um, combined with ore, breaking ore gravel with a hammer will get crushed ore, which can be combined with ore sand and pressed, processed with a hammer into pulverized ore. So we want iron ore sand. Like that. How do we make iron or sand? Well, actually, we know how to make iron or sand. Crushed iron ore. Let's go back to the book, have a quick look. Breaking iron ore with a hammer will give you crushed iron ore which can be combined into ore sand and processed with a hammer into pulverized ore. So that's okay, so it's the same deal. We do that. We get ore sand. And we'll pick that back. Oh no, there's more. Okay, we might need to make ore dust as well. This is getting very repetitive, isn't it? Where did you put the rain muffler? It's still in here. We just haven't had enough rain for it to matter. Pulverized iron ore. There we go. And that will... There we go. Turn into iron ore dust. And that, for that we can pick that reward bag. There we go. Just put that sand away because we're getting a bit short on space. Put that paper away, we don't need it. Don't need a tool rod. Uh, I want to do something with that crucible, but I can't do that just yet. But let's have a look at this reward bag. 
64 glowstone nooks. Oh, I don't know. In a land where there's no light, I think glowstone nooks are going to be quite a useful thing. <laughs> 